Okay, so today we're hanging out on the floor because I can't be bothered to like actually work anywhere else. But we are going to turn this sun hat into a Regency bonnet. I vaguely know what I'm doing, but not really. So we're just going to um, pretend like I know what I'm doing. First things first, I don't like how this is domed. So I'm going to have to take apart the crown and redo it so that way it's more squared because I feel like that would look better bonnet wise versus that. Um, I'm also going to cut off the brim. I think that's what this part is because I'm going to have to just completely reshape it so it's bonnet shaped too. Yeah, that's vaguely what I'm doing. I don't have more answers than that. I decided to start with the easy part and removed the brim from the cap of the hat. Okay, um, now that I see it without the brim, I don't know if I'm going to want to do anything with it. Like, that's what we want, right? Let me take a picture of my phone real quick. I mean, yeah, I think so. So now it's just getting the brim to the right shape. I need to remove this edging first. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Because I've never made a bonnet before, I didn't know what the shape of the brim needed to be. So I decided to pin it onto the cap in the Regency bonnet style. That way I would have some sort of a guideline and know what I was working with before I actually cut into the brim. Okay, so kind of like it. Um, let's see what that shape is. I feel like it'll sit so I still have like all the extra on the inside because I didn't want to cut it quite yet um, but like it's just gonna be so seamless I guess it just it looks so good oh I'm so excited here I don't know if it's picking up on camera but I can see where I put the pins um, and I'm gonna draw with the sharpie just below that I'm only gonna mark out the shape on half of the bonnet so that way I can like just fold it in half and get symmetrical curves. Cause it really, it really needs to be symmetrical. But this is turning out so cute. In case anyone is curious, that is the general shape of the brim. Okay, so this part sticks out because this is where I detached the cap from the brim. So I need to undo this maybe about four inches, at least to there, so that way I can seamlessly tuck this piece under. Okay, so I have it completely sewn together, but this edge is rough. So I think I'm gonna sew this band back in just to, just to finish this edge. I should have pinned it first because this is short. So I'm gonna have to unpick it and then get a new ribbon and sew it in. Okay, so I got a lace to put in and it's like absolutely perfect. I will add in the band in the middle once I get the lace tacked down because I kind of want the lace to be finished with the band as well. Um, I also have this really pretty purple ribbon I'm going to tack down for the outside and then this will be my base bonnet. Um, I do have all of these flowers but there's currently too many options right now and I'm getting overwhelmed. So we're going to make a base wearable bonnet. Um, and then I'll worry about the decoration later. I have pins that I can like, I'm basically going to make all the florals like different pins 
um, so I can exchange things as I want them and like whatnot. But like the purple band will be a fixed thing on it. So anyway, with all that, let's get sewing. It was actually quite a nice relaxing evening to just sit in my studio and hand sew all these decorations onto the bonnet. So much so that, you know, I'm gonna be making another bonnet for my friend Casey for when we celebrate her birthday with a Regency tea. Oh, I'm so excited. Like these pictures are gonna be super cute, guys. I can't even tell you. 